All right, here we're going to look at uh, another example involving Euler's method. So it turns out that the exact solution to the initial value problem, y prime equals y, where y of 0 equals 1, the solution to that uh, is the function y equals e to the x. We want to know what's the error in computing y of 3 when using uh, Euler's method with a step size of 1. So let's see. So our y sub 1 value is going to be our y sub 0 plus the step size f of x sub 0 y sub 0. So again, we've got that y of 0 equals 1. So 0 is going to be our x sub naught value. 1 is going to be our y sub 0 y naught value. Why not? Um, and now we're just going to plug everything in. So y sub 0, that equals 1. Our step size in this case uh, was also equal to 1, so that's going to be what we plug in for h. And then uh, in our derivative formula, we have to plug in, we have to replace all the x's with zeros and all the y's with 1's. But again, our derivative formula um, here is just e to the x. So when we plug it in, we'll get, well, e to the 0 power. Well, this will be 1 plus 1 times 1. Well, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 will give us 2. So it says uh, we've now moved over a whole step size of 1. So it says the approximate y value at x equals 1 is going to be y equals 2. So we can do this again. y sub 2 will be y1 plus h times f of x sub 1, y sub 1. So let's see, our approximation y sub 1 is 2, our step size is 1. Again, our derivative is just e to the x, so we'll get e to the first. So we'll get 2 plus e, and now I'm going to have to start approximating here a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to approximate this 4.718. Well, now it says, okay, so at x equals 2, it says our approximation is going to be 4.718. And now if we do this one more time, it says we'll take y sub 2. So again, this is uh, x sub 2, y sub 2. It says we'll take y sub 2 plus the step size, f of x sub 2, y sub 2. I'm going to plug everything in here. Again, y sub 2 is 4.718. The step size is 1. And now we'll have e raised to the second power. Well, let's see, one more time here. So let's see, plus. All right, I'm getting this to be roughly equal to. So roughly equal to 12.107. And that's now going to be our approximation. So it says at the x-coordinate of 3, we're approximately getting 12.107. Since we know the exact solution, we can always compute it. Okay, so we said the solution is just y equals e to the x. Well, e to the third... Again, I'm going to round this off a little bit. E to the third, I'm getting 20.086 uh, after rounding. So in this case, our error, you know, again, if we approximate, so 20.086, 20.086, 20 I'm going to subtract away 12.107. Sorry, 20.086 minus 12.107. I'm getting the error to be approximately 7.979. So you can see we're off by a fair amount. So, you know, the idea of what you would want to do in this case, uh, probably to get, you know, much less error, you would definitely want to make your step size a little bit smaller. Again, geometrically, what's going on, you know, so... 
So the solution curve is e to the x. We're trying to get over here to x equals 3. Okay, so there's 3 comma e to the third. That's the true y value. And again, what we're doing is we're just using these equations of, uh, we're just using tangent lines. So we are going to kind of be, I think, a fair amount below the actual solution by the time we get over there if we do use step sizes of 1. So certainly a way to reduce the error is to make the step sizes much smaller. And again, this is something that a computer is perfectly suited for. I mean, you can make these step sizes arbitrarily small, uh, super, super small, and a computer could grind through this pretty quickly. So um, again, a very useful situation because it does just kind of provide a nice brute force, brute force method uh, for solving a lot of differential equations.